Well, hey, church family, thanks so much for joining together and, and worship. And uh, I wanted to open up our time together with the scripture. It's Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. And I have said this verse multiple, multiple times for high school graduates going on to college and, and uh, during their graduation ceremonies. And I just wanted to remind us of the scripture. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. I think that's universally true for all of us that we should not lean on our own understanding. I just wanted to share a quick story before we get into the, the worship together. Um, man, uh, last, uh, <laughs> well, now it's probably several weeks now, but I was finishing the anxiety series that we have on our, on our church app, and I finished the last question. And uh, when I was finishing the last question, I was actually in a lot of pain. My lower back, I was working out last week, and and uh, several weeks ago, and, uh, and man, my back just like, just did something weird. I felt something slip. And uh, it was tight for like four days straight. And I got to the end, this last question. So Pastor Greg, uh, this is the question that you had asked on that series. And it was, do you trust God as your provider, you know, as your father? And I was like, well, yeah, I do. But wait. And I was thinking about it. I was like, well, I do, but I kind of don't. And the reason why is because I've had men in my life, uh, my grandpa, my, my dad, they work. And my grandpa worked until he was late in age, and my dad's still working. And, um, you know, the Ciprianos, we work. That's what we do. And we put our shoulder down, and, and we work. And to think that God is my provider was just really refreshing. And I was like, you know what? I'm not trusting him. I'm not trusting him as my provider. And I'll tell you what. Now, granted, remember, I'm answering this question voice to text because my cell phone's on the floor because I'm in such pain. I'm trying to, like, stretch and move. And all of a sudden, I just moved just a little bit. And my back went pop, 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 pop. And my spine, like, got straight. And I was like, oh, my gosh, all that, all that pressure is gone. I, the Lord just, just totally helped me, helped me, like, healed me, right? So he, he made my path straight. He made my back straight. <laughs> and um, I don't know if that uh, is a proper exegesis of the scripture, but it just resonated with me. Like, I just need to trust God to be my provider. And, uh, and then he'll surprise me. Um, are we surprised? So let's, let's worship together uh, in an attitude of being surprised by what God wants to do in and through us and to show us his power and his might. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. It doesn't take a trophy to make you proud. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Going through a storm. But I won't back down I hear your voice Carried in the rhythm of the wind To call me out You could cross an ocean So I wouldn't drown You've never been closer than you are right now
Dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor. How much more will he clothe you? How much more will he clothe you? If he dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor, how much more will he love you? How much more will he clothe you? If he watches over. Every sparrow, how much more does he love you? How much more does he love you if he watches over every sparrow? How much more does he love you? How much more does he love you?
deserve the glory You are worthy of it all Sing together You are worthy of it all For from you are all things And to you are all things You deserve the glory pray together. Yes, Lord, you deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. You stand ready to forgive us, Jesus. When we confess our sin to you, Lord, we love you. We thank you for what you're doing in this church and in our hearts and in our minds. We thank you that you call us friend. You're making things new in our lives because we have given everything to you. We worship you, Jesus, because you are worthy of it all. May this be an offering to you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus.